Hello friends, this video on transport in plants part 9 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Now let us look at one example which will make your concept of water potential even more clear. Here you can see two chambers which are separated by a semi permeable membrane. So you have to, the whatever particles you can see, they are the solute particles and the remaining portion is all water. So which chamber has a lower water potential? So as you can see here, that region, let us name these regions. Let us suppose this is region A and this is region B. So which chamber has lower water potential? So wherever the concentration of water is more, the water potential will be more. So here where the water con concentration is more, water concentration is more here in A and it is less in B. So since the water concentration is less in B, therefore the water potential is also less in B. So chamber B will have lower water potential. Which chamber has a lower solute potential? So if you see where you have lower, con I mean wherever you have the concentration of solute as less, that will have a lower solute potential. So here you have lower solute potential, that is so here the solute concentration is more, concentration is less but the solute concentration is more. So when the solute concentration is more, that means the value of solute potential is more but the value of solute potential would be more negative. So more negative is actually less. So therefore B will have lower solute potential. In which direction will osmosis occur? So water will move from region of higher potential towards region of lower potential. So this would be the direction of osmosis. Which solution has a higher solute potential? Obviously when B has a lower solute potential, obviously A will have a higher solute potential. At equilibrium, which chamber will have lower water potential? So when we say equilibrium, we means that the concentration of both the regions will be the same. If one chamber has a potential of minus 2000 kilopascals and the other has 1000 kilopascals, which is the chamber that has higher potential? So if you see, if you only look at the magnitude, this is more. But since it has a negative sign, so it is a more negative value. So this is less. So which has a more water potential? This is the chamber with a higher water potential. So water will move from this chamber to this chamber, that is higher water potential to lower water potential. So now let us see the significance of water potential in a plant. So where do we actually use, where do we actually make use of water potential? Now if you look at a plant, the direction in which water moves is this water moves up against the concentration gradient. So now you will understand the, the concept why, how is it possible that water moves against the gravity. That is because if you look at the soil, so in soil if the soil is moist because when we water the plant so the soil will remain moist. So moist soil will have very high water potential. So moist soil will have in fact very high water potential. So almost around minus 0 0.3 bars. So that would be the potential water potential in soil. Now water potential is high here if you talk about the roots. So this is soil. Now if you talk about the roots. So roots have high water potential, not very high, but high water potential, maybe somewhere around 20 bars. So if you see, this has higher water potential, this has lower water potential comparatively, right? The magnitude is increasing, but the total value is more negative. So it is reducing. So water osmosis will occur, water will move from higher potential towards lower potential. Now again, moving up, if you go towards the stem and then to the leaves. So when you talk about a leaf, so there the water potential is quite low. So the water potential in a leaf would be somewhere around minus 20 bars. So however it varies, it is not always the same because in leaf when stomata remains open, then the water potential is even low, lower. But when the stomata is closed, it is not the case. It might change a little bit. Again, when you go to outside surroundings, that is the atmosphere. So in the atmosphere, the water potential is very low. 
so the water potential might even go up to minus 500 bars however again this also changes with humidity now none of these values are exact values they keep changing but i just wanted to give you a rough idea that the water moves upward because the water potential is basically reducing as you move up so the water potential is decreasing as you move up and that is why the water is moving up because water moves from higher potential to lower potential so in the soil it is at the highest potential and and in the atmosphere it is at the lowest potential that is water moves up through the roots to the stem and then to the leaves and from leaves it moves out by evaporation by a process called transpiration so that is how the water movement actually takes place in a plant but again there is a limitation now water potential alone cannot make water move throughout this much length of a huge tree and also the water potential concept varies because when if the soil if you are not watering the plant so much the soil might be very dry so water potential will not help water to move up similarly if the atmosphere is not at all humid it is very dry then maybe the water potential might not be that uh, low it might increase so that means because of all those things there are other factors as well which help water move up the plant so we will talk about those mechanisms a little later so, so but so far the concept of osmosis and water potential should be clear to you thank you please visit www.examfear.com to watch more videos attempt free online test get free study material, find tutors and mentors. Thank you once again.